We are looking at how to pronounce 30 very common and useful words that you've probably been pronouncing wrong, or at least that you've never really known how to say them correctly, which is often because they come from other languages. So we're going to be traveling the world together here, if only the world of words, the world of English, the world of food, the world of fashion, the world of names, whether you're looking at improving your English or you think your English is already great, I'm sure many words here you're not nailing the pronunciation of yet. Let's find out together. At the end of this video I'll tell you how you can greatly improve your vocabulary and pronunciation skills with words coming from all languages, so make sure to stay tuned. But enough intro, let's go. And let's start with this word. I know silent letters are annoying in English, they are a pain. And this is an archetypal example. Ignore, do ignore the L here. There are two words that a lot of people get wrong. This is one of them. Do not say and pronounce the L here. Do not say almond, but rather almond, almond. Do please ignore the L. Coming up, croissant, croissant, the T is silent here. This is a word from French, for reference in French, this is said as croissant, croissant. So do not say croissant, but rather croissant, croissant. Genre, genre, another word of French origin, genre. A lot of people get confused by that one. This is the name of a country, and I know what you're thinking. No, it is not the N-word, but rather Niger, a country in Africa, Niger. The other country that looks a little similar is pronounced as Nigeria. This is not Niger, but rather Niger, Niger. A word that a lot of at least non-native English speakers get wrong. Comfortable. The middle syllable here is silent. Comfortable. Comfortable. Do not pronounce the O-R in the middle. Oh, what a beautiful luxury brand. Who knows how to pronounce this one really well. For reference, in French, this is said as Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, so a silent S, Vuitton, do not say Louis Vuitton, but rather Vuitton, Vuitton, if you can, Louis Vuitton. Another French word, originally very common in English, that confuses a lot of people, entrepreneur, entrepreneur is how it is said, in English, entrepreneur. An Italian word, this time, often made from potatoes, type of pasta, gnocchi. Gnocchi is how it would be said in Italy, not gnocchi, anything like this. Simply gnocchi. Gnocchi. I do have a video pronouncing this word on the channel. Everybody wonders how to say this correctly. And another specialty from Italy, lasagna, lasagna. You do want to stress on the middle syllable here, on the za syllable, lasagna. Mm, several words that are rather similar with this infamous L letter that is silent. Calm, psalm, palm. Do not worry about the L's here. Calm, psalm. Palm. Yes, now you know. That one is confusing. There are different silent letters at different places in the world. And this is to be said. Jewelry. Jewelry. So do not worry about the E's there in the middle. Jewelry. Jewelry. I've just highlighted, as you've noticed, the silent letters in blue. Jewelry. And Thu. Ziastak. Many non-native English speakers get this wrong. Yes, the second sound is the TH sound in English that is made 
with your tongue between your teeth. Enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. The other word that is similar is enthusiast. Enthusiast. Another silent letter, common word, plumber. Plumber. Do not say plumber. Plumber. There's no P sound here. Surprisingly or not, plumber. Plumber. Let's get into the world of names. If you want to learn more about names, I make a lot of videos about how to pronounce them properly, but this is a very common one that a lot of people get wrong. Ewan, Ewan. Many words from Gaelic origin, from Scotland and Ireland are confusing. This is one of them. And yeah, I know, it's just how it is. Another country, we were in Africa earlier on, Let's move on to South America. How do you go? How would you pronounce this one? No, I know, it is not Chile, but rather Chile. This is because it's a country where they speak Spanish, not English. So, no, it's not Chile, like in a Chile, red hot chili peppers, but rather Chile, Chile indeed. Beautiful country, by the way. Nice wines over there. Oh, how do you pronounce this? A lot of people say fungi, uh, to a certain extent, I guess it is okay. Let me know if you think it is in the comments, but most people say fungi, or in the US, fungi, fungi, or fungi, in British English, fungi, or fungi. Second month in the year, February, February. Yes, pretty confusing. February or February even. You could almost, a lot of people do around the world, ignore the A here and say February or February. A little A uh, sound if you want to pronounce the A here. It's okay as well. This is a cheese from the Netherlands. So this is a Dutch name. And most people say Gouda, right? It makes sense. But no, the Dutch pronounce this as Gouda. I know it is a little bit tricky, but you it's good to know that this is normally said as Gouda, not Gouda. I love to know that one. Another one that I love to know, it's not necessarily easy to say that one perfectly correctly and respectfully for the Dutch language, but this is said in Dutch as van ho van ho I know a lot of people say van go or van go but no van ho van ho Vincent van ho I know it's at least good to know not necessarily a pronunciation that is easy to use in everyday life but it's good to know another one that is great to know this is a brand name of Italian origin Nutella, Nutella. You do want to stress on the middle syllable and insist on the double L here. Nutella, not Nutella, or anything like this. Nutella, Nutella. Another food name from Spain, that one. Most people in English speaking countries say it as paella, paella, right? Pronouncing the double L's. Now, in Spain, in Spanish, double L means or is equivalent to a Y. So this is normally said as paella, not paella. I know in English it is said as paella, so I guess it's acceptable. That one, another example, salmon, salmon. Yes, no L here in the pronunciation. Salmon, salmon. Another word, food word of French origin. Very popular these days. Yes, we all love a good charcuterie board. Charcuterie. Charcuterie. In fact, the accentuation or the stress is not on any particular syllable. In English, it is usually said as charcuterie. But in French, there's no such thing as a stress on any syllable. So, for reference, if you want to hear how this is said in French, charcuterie. Charcuterie. In English, charcuterie. Chocoterie. Oh, how many people get this one wrong? No, it's not spaghetti bolognese. No, it's not. 
I'll give you the typical Italian pronunciation, spaghetti bolognese, at least the second word. You could very easily get it right, bolognese. When you're saying bolognese, this is actually more like the French word for it. It is true that in French this is said as bolognese. But if you're saying that word the, with this spelling, not with an A-I-S-E, just like mayonnaise at the end, you should be saying bolognese, bolognese. I think at least it's good to know spaghetti bolognese, spaghetti bolognese. Another silent letter in English, Tom. Tom, not tomb, but rather Tom, Tom. Another infamous French word, but it is a beautiful word. Lingerie, lingerie. A lot of people get confused. It's easy, lingerie. While we are in the world of fashion and clothing, another brand from France, Louboutin is how it is said, Louboutin, Louboutin, Christian Louboutin is how it is said in French, it's easy, right? Another confusing brand name from France, Givenchy, Givenchy, so many people wonder about this one, well now you know, Givenchy. A Mexican or Tex-Mex and Mexican cuisine restaurant chain, very popular in the US, but also in other countries. No, it's not Chipotle or chip Chipotle, Chipotle, but rather Chipotle, Chipotle, just like Chile that we saw before. The E is not an E sound, but an E sound. Chipotle, Chipotle. Another food name that a lot of people are confused by, quinoa, quinoa. You don't want to stress on the first syllable here, quinoa, quinoa. And that word you do know already. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. Make sure to give it a like and yeah, consider subscribing as well. If you do want to improve your pronunciation of words coming from France, Italy, Spain, South America, Mexico, but also Japan and sometimes China, consider subscribing. More videos on this channel right for you. I upload every day many videos, so make sure to stay tuned. I'll see you around the wonderful world of pronunciation.